Now I'm behind, oh no, I'm in front of the camera in this one. I've just done a video about the library. We're up in the library so that I could uh, do this video, get my wife, Raywin, who's behind the camera now, to video me putting up, putting, transferring a, um, a laser copy or otherwise known as a, uh, a laser printer will do it or a um, photocopier. So it's an ordinary photocopy, uh, black, the darker the better, and I'm going to transfer it using nothing but this hot iron, which I burnt myself on in the last video. Um, and this is just a quick one, as promised, uh, because I was w using a woodcut that I'd carved previously, and I promised that I'd do a video on how I transferred the image. So I will. So basically, you print it right way round normally. So when you transfer, you're actually transferring it, and it's it's the other way round. It's going to come out reversed which is what you need when you're doing a carving, uh, when you're doing the woodcut. Um, so it'll go, when you do the woodcut print, it'll come right the other way. So the idea is that a hot iron, just normal hot iron, and you press it pretty hard, probably with the edge quite a lot, and you should be able to see, can you see that it's coming through? You start to see it, um, the paper is uh, sort of going a little bit, you, you're starting to see the, the black and the white coming through. And all I do is I rub it around. Depending on how detailed the, the thing is, you don't have to do it quite so, so fastidiously if it's not that detailed, because you can sort of fill in the gaps. But if it's detailed, then you have to be pretty careful to to iron it very thoroughly. So after I've completely ironed it, it should be sticking quite hard by means of the toner, which is uh, the black ink. That toner gets melted. That's how it works in the, the printer and the photocopier. It actually melts, uh, the powder melts onto the paper. So we're remelting it onto the wood, um, or some of it goes onto the wood, transfers. And that gives you something to copy, or to drill into, or carve into, to make your woodcut um, uh, pattern um, that you print from. So, nearly done. And then uh, after that, the, the only trick is you can't just peel it straight off because it tends to pull some of the the uh, the black off the board. So. Uh, what you do is you just gently wet it pretty well straight away because once it's cool it becomes hardened. The, the toner, the melted toner becomes hard and it should stick to the wood. So you should find that you can just gently rub uh, the wet paper off the surface until you reveal the lovely black image underneath. So I'll I'll assume I've done enough here um, to show you. So I'll now get the water. Just normal cold water. Just um, now this paper, this is uh, slightly experimental because this paper is uh, quite glossy paper. I thought it might actually work better. So it might take a little bit longer to um, to uh, soak and start to come off, but we'll see how we go. Um, I'll see if it's uh, yeah it wants to um, possibly ordinary photocopier paper. Okay, so maybe do what I say, don't do what I do. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, no, it's starting. I'll just do a little bit, and then I'll comment about um, the obvious thing that I haven't mentioned yet, which is what the board is. So there we go. It's transferred successfully, and that's the paper off. So if I carry on gently taking it off there, oh, I see, sometimes if you... I didn't iron that quite as hard as I could have, but that is no chemicals, no nothing, just a hot iron. 
um, yeah it's it's uh, it's not perfect but it's it's enough for this so there we go now this is just custom wood MDF it could be any any fine sort of particle board or even plywood as long as it's really uh, thoroughly painted with white acrylic and then sanded and I'll just dash back here sanded with several grips so I started with 150 grit no, 120 grit. See, it says P120, so it's quite coarse. And just sand, sand, sand. And then I sanded with 180 grit. And then I actually jumped straight to a very fine one, but you can use something like 400, 600 grit. This is 1500, which is very fine. But it did make a lovely um, surface for this. So basically, that was a um, moderate success. Um, but a little bit, uh, I probably, while talking, didn't actually iron it as quite as hard as I would have normally. So that is basically how you can transfer. And then, once all the paper's gone, you get the Dremel or get a chisel, like um, Dremel, of course, has got the little diamond bits, which are a bit slower. Uh, or you can get a, a burr, which is faster. Or you can use a one of these nice um, uh, V-shaped chisels which um, you can get or very a very um, oh, little U-shaped um, blade would be good for a big for big lettering or big lines like this so there we are hope that helps